Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video. Now in this video, I do want to show you guys a really good spot to do some fishing, but I just got met by a whole bunch of Driscolls, and I was able to take them off very quickly, so that's a good thing. Unfortunately, I did use all of my dead eye core, so don't be hating in the comment section down below about my cores are empty and my health isn't doing very good. I just got ambushed, by the way, so just kind of leave me be. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing a little bit of fishing uh, along the Dakota River, and some of the things that I want to be able to she like show you guys are kind of the things that are making some noise, and that's uh, kind of all along this river. There's a lot of different opportunities to uh, make some money, including some steelhead trout. Now you can start to see that there are some um, peeking ducks down there, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab those if we can get ourselves down there anyway. Uh, let's see, how can we get down there? Quickly and easy like let's go down this way over here. We got this nice Gentle path right here going down into the Dakota River Valley. So let's go ahead and uh, Shoot these guys. They might have despawned because I did get a little bit too far away from them But all up and down this coast there are different uh, Different ducks and geese and everything else that you guys can go ahead and shoot but I want to go to a very specific spot and I want to show you guys where you guys can uh, get a whole bunch of steelhead trout And that's actually just down this way just a little bit now There are gonna be some spots all along here But just keep your eyes open all around along this uh, river bank here And you're gonna see lots of ducks and geese and everything else like I was mentioning before But this is about a really good spot right in here that you guys are gonna want to come to in order to do some steelhead trout fishing. Now, it doesn't really matter really where specifically you do this along uh, this portion of the uh, of the river, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys in just a second, but I'm gonna go get these ducks right over here since I lost the first few. So I'm gonna go ahead and give these guys a... Uh, look at all of them. Oh my gosh, they're too fast for me. Mallard ducks, come here. Apparently I can't hunt today. It's been a few days since I've actually been here on Red Dead Online actually doing some decent hunting and fishing. But we're going to go ahead and... Uh, that's a rock. Where is this duck at right here? I'm going to go ahead and pick up this guy. Let's go and skin him. But I missed all of my mailer ducks and my other Peking ducks that were really going to make us some extra cash here. But just keep your eyes open. You guys will find a whole bunch of them in big groups along this river. Just so you guys do know about that. Mmm, birdie game meat and some animal fat. Now, if you guys are level 60, <clears throat> you guys can uh, buy your explosive rounds and you need the animal fat to do that. <sighs> That's a whole different topic. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing fishing along this river. That's actually what we mostly came here to do. None of the ducks, none of the making jokes about level 60s uh, being able to, uh, to <laughs> uh, get crazy good... St items in the game, but that's fine uh, So let's go in and check out where they're at here in this river and you can see that there's a couple right there And I'm not sure if there's any more where my line is at. I can't really tell they might be just a little bit too far away But you know, we can make two dollars and fifty cents per fish in this uh, location, so it's a pretty good location to make some decent money. We got that seal had a trout Oops, This is a couple of them right there that they're going after the line they should be kind of attacking it here in just a moment and i definitely recommend that you guys are using either the special special river lure or the river lure in general and i don't know why they're just bypassing it all of a sudden they're being little putzes is what they're being so let's go ahead and get just a little bit closer and let's check over here i can't see which ones they are over there that's the only bad thing about daytime fishing it's hard to tell where exactly were what fish or what in where in some of these situations. I like to do a lot of my fishing at night, believe it or not, because it's easier to see with the the eagle eye. I'm like, look at this. We can't see any in the, there we go. We got one hooked. They're actually just a little bit too far away for my liking, but but this is an easy way to make $2.50. And like I said, the steelhead trout are up and down this river and wow. That was a quick break of that. 
that was that was kind of bogus. I've never had one break when they weren't even fighting. But anyway, what we're going to be doing is all the way around, up and down this river, pretty much from the Bard's Crossing all the way to uh, Limpany right here uh, is a good spot to fish for steelhead trout. Lots of other opportunities to get other animals as well. Like you saw, we saw the duck. We've, I, there's deer in the area, so you can, guys can get some perfect deer pelts as well. And a few other items here. But, you know, steelhead trout, that's where it's at. It's $2.50 per fish, and that's actually what we came for. But I've never had a lion snap when a fish wasn't fighting before. So that's actually kind of peculiar. And I feel like this rain is really causing an issue with my steelhead trout and i was catching a whole bunch of them here actually just a minute ago which is actually really interesting i'm just going to actually cast my my lure this way Let's see if we can actually catch one of these bad boys i need to catch a few more and i just sold a whole bunch of them at the uh the butcher in valentine so i know they're here the only difference is I was actually fishing on the other side of the river. Oh, I can see a couple of them. I really don't know why they're not being attracted to this right now. That's really interesting. I don't really understand what is going on right now. Let's just go right about here. I don't know if it's because I'm casting too far. I just can't see them. Or if it's because I caused an issue. That was a terrible cast, by the way. There we go. There, now we can actually see the fish. That's a little better. And I'm reeling in gently. So we should be able to catch them, no problems. And this is the exact same lure that I was using before. It feels like they're about to bite on, actually. There we go. Let's get them under control there. And then let's go ahead and reel this bad boy in. And actually get our first catch for the day. If we can actually not break our line this time. There we go. Come here. I should be getting the animation. There we go. I don't know why it was taking so long to get the animation to actually happen. That was kind of weird. But there we go. Steelhead Trout. All up and down this area. From all the way down at Bard's Crossing. Up to Limpany, which is actually just on the other side of those trees. Is pretty much a good spot to go fishing. I prefer the other side. But I came over here for the ducks. And that's A-OK. -okay. So let's go ahead and give ourselves a cast right here. That's about perfect, right next to that fish. Hopefully I didn't scare him. We don't want to be scaring the fish away. This is this is good money. This is great money. All right, fishy, fishy. I know you want to bite onto the line. There we go. I'm going to give you a little bit of control. And let's go ahead and reel this guy in real quick. Up and down is the flicking motion and then just nice of rotating circle on the right joystick. Brings them in ever so quickly. All right. Let's see. Where else have we got some? And if for whatever reason they aren't spawning for you guys, uh, there's, a, there's a couple more that just spawned right here. So I just kind of toss it right here. But if for whatever reason there's not a whole bunch spawning for you guys, then all you guys need to do is just grab out your special spinner. That you guys have gotten for free from Rockstar. And uh, at least I'm pretty sure that's one of the items that we've gotten for free in the past. And then just go ahead and clear out some of the, the smaller fish. And they more of them should populate. Otherwise what you can do is you can always ride away you know, on your horse. And then just come back to this exact same location. And just kind of start all over again. Or just move to a different spot along the Dakota River. And it should be just fine. Now, your satchel obviously can handle 10 of these guys, so that's going to be 25 fish per satchel fill, which is actually a decent amount of money. And I do like fishing in the game. It's fairly relaxing, and you can kind of enjoy the scenery around you. And it seems like lately, um, a lot of people have kind of just stayed away from griefing people that are fishing, which is great. I was actually doing some fishing actually just a little bit prior to doing this video in this area and I wasn't having any issues with them griefing me or not griefing me so which was which was actually really nice. They just kind of sat next to me and they just were they were actually shooting the the ducks and the geese that were around me. So that actually was kind of nice so we could just kind of share 
I was going for the fish and they were going after all the other animals in the vicinity. So that was pretty nice of them to be able to do that. All right. So I think we've caught what five, four or five fish so far. We got one that's actually right here in front of us. So I'm going to see if we can kind of pull some in. Now, what I did at the very beginning of the video where I actually ran across the river is actually a really bad idea because it kind of creates these little fish bubbles far away from you. And if you do that, then what's going to happen is you're not going to be able to see the fish. Like I can see all the fish bubbles, but I can't see exactly where the fish are, are located and they don't seem to be despawning because I'm just, you know, I'm a little too close to them or I was too close to them when I ran across the river. So just stay on the bank as much as possible and then um, don't dart out into the water. Otherwise you might have some issues with, with that at, uh, at some point, kind of like I'm having right now. But there's a couple more that just spawned right in front of me. And they should be pretty much unlimited. So we just got to make sure that they can uh, be attracted to the special spinner. Making sure that we're just reeling it in ever so slowly. It looks like they are slowly attracted to it. And they should be catching on here in just a moment. They're coming. They're just taking their sweet old time. They're not, they must not be very hungry right now. There we go. We're going to go ahead and grab onto them. Beautiful. And let's go ahead and reel this guy in real quick. But yeah, that's, it's a great spot to do some steelhead trout fishing and you're really close to Valentine. The butcher is only about 30 seconds, maybe an absolute most a minute away from you guys. Uh, now, the only thing that I had had to say that's a negative about the area is obviously it is pretty wide open. So people can see it pretty much from every direction. So I, like I said, I've been fishing here for a little while and I haven't had any issues with griefers or anything like that, but it's a possibility. Some other locations that I've shared with you guys in the past or just recently has been more about, um, you know, more seclusion. So just kind of keep that in mind when you guys are in the spot. But that is all the time that I have for in today's video. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming. I'm gonna go